Peaches, oh, welcome to Previewed, where friends don't let friends review movies alone. I'm Adam. And I'm Jay. And today we're going to react, review, riff, and at the end, recommend? How is this even a question? <laughs> Wakanda Forever! The <coughs> Black Panther sequel that came out yesterday. Yeah. We just got back from seeing it. We uh, sure did. We went to a 10 a.m. showing of this. Because your boys forgot to get tickets way earlier. <laughs> well, no, it's your boys got jury duty. Yeah, well, that that too. Because we couldn't do it last night. But uh, yeah, I mean, we didn't get it. Like we should have gotten it weeks ago. We didn't. We didn't plan ahead. Well, it would have been good because we would have gotten them for Thursday morning, and you wouldn't have been able to go. That's true. It wouldn't have. So it was. It worked out fine. It worked out fine. Why is just... uh, well, I'm just saying. I have not been. I have not been to a 10 a.m. movie. Well, a maybe a, ever a 10 a.m. movie when schools are not in session. On, yeah, on a holiday year. was an experience I didn't miss. Adam was mad at all the kids. The, there were a bunch of kids there, and he was like, "I don't know why there's a bunch of kids here." I'm like, "No, it's no, a, no! It's a 10 a.m. movie. That's when kids go." Sh no, kids. Did you just almost no. shush me. Sh you. Sh well, I mean, people were being people were being shushing in the theater the whole time. <clears throat> I'm talking about kids old enough to not understand what's going on and be bored by the movie, so they have to be their their parents' phone comes out so they can start playing YouTube to be entertained. Yeah, they did do that a couple times. <laughs> That's the level of kids like in the back, like, oh my god, I think it's about. Oh my god, is that really like that? Okay, but like. Kids watching their parents' the phones. The kids were not saying that, Riri. You were the one whispering to me. You were I just heard, making. I heard someone else say it behind us. Oh, yeah. So I come over here thinking I my ears don't work. I don't know that character at all. Cause you're like, I think it's Riri. It's Riri. That like that explains I don't know. why you were just like, like giving me dead face. I don't know what you're like, talking about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, movie experience aside. Hey Jay, would you recommend Wakanda Forever? No spoilers, by the way. No spoilers. This is our no spoilers no section. No spoilers section. Of course I would. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. 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 This movie is sitting interestingly with me in that a lot of the things that I actually really respect and liked about the movie are also things that kind of frustrated me about the movie to some degree mm -hmm. in that like this movie is very patient. It takes its time. It's two and, and a half hours long. Two and a half hours long. Mm -hmm. um, it really like it lets a lot of moments sit and which is very unique for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Unlike Thor from a couple months ago. Which just... Which just could have used another half hour. Yes. It flew past. So I, that, that is one thing I like truly respect about this movie. And it gives it the weight and the, and the gravitas that is required for what they're trying... What they, like what the assignment was here. Like, we lost Chad McBoseman. It's very sad. We're not going to just like... You know, in, in days of old, in com old comic book movies, they would just kind of gloss over the fact, you know, how many Batmans did we go through? Not that any of them died tragically, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, like, they just kind of, like, let that be, like, I love seeing the process of, like, the, what the funeral looks like and what the changing of the guard looks like and all of this is, like, all that protocol and stuff is incredible. And, not, uh, and they set up Atlantis in a way that... That shouldn't be. That's not a spoiler. Where you saw Namor in the. You saw oh, a lot yes. of people. It's not, and technically, it's not Atlantis. It's was it Tal Koken, mm -hmm. I believe, was the name of it. Because like, I, I mean, it was smart of them not to have it be Atlantis because of DC. Because Aquaman already came out, so it's like it's just easier. It's, it's yeah, Atlantis, but, it, but it's, it's but named something it's Marvel different. Universe. We yeah. know it's Atlantis. Yeah, we know. Um, but uh, yeah, it's but <laughs> it's also one of my one of my frustrations with the movie. Because there were a couple of times, and Adam can attest to this, that I was like, all right, all right, ha, 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 ha. let's go. <laughs> what, what, what you call those moments, Jay? Uh, the, uh, oh, I call them butt hurt moments. And it's not, not that I'm getting butt hurt by the movie. It's just those moments in the movie where you're like, ah, oh, I can, I, my butt hurts. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm aware of that my butt hurts and that I've my, been sitting here for over two hours. Yeah. Oh, my butt kind of hurts. Yeah. It oh, can we kind of hurry this up, please? Like, it, fe <laughs> you, it feels its length to a little bit, but, the, but all that being said, like, is it, yeah, is it a little too, a little slow at times? Yes. But like. I don't think I would necessarily change anything about it because all of it is in service of what they're trying to do. Oh, yeah. What what they needed this movie to do, once they made a decision, we're not recasting, 
we're going to honor Chadwick, and we're going to we're going to make this part of the story, which fundamentally changes the whole movie. Yes. I thought they did an, I mean, uh, just a, an amazing job of like, okay, here's this is two and a half hours of everybody, the MCU, actually, you know, in, in universe, but also, you know, Disney this in movie general, could have been Marvel an, Studios. This movie could have been an hour forty five, but they needed the extra forty five to like to settle the ship. Yeah, for everyone to go through this process mm -hmm. of losing this main character, losing this amazing person in real life. Yeah, and just deal because this movie. Is does a very good job of giving all the characters that we love from Wakanda, uh, from Black Panther and taking them through this journey of uh, and people at different stages of grief and how people how people de deal with death and all sorts of all this amazing stuff. Namor's full of rage. This is why he's doing what he's doing. Shuri's also full of rage. Her mom is you know has dealt with it in her own way you know um, and then the uh, drum Malage is dealing with it. like everyone's dealing with it in a different way. Yeah. And we're and we're and the movie gives our gives us enough time for everybody to move through this. Yeah, they don't leave anyone behind. They leave really. no one behind. Everybody gets time in this movie, and it's great. Yes, because that's I mean because they had to with Chadwick gone, the, the rest of the cast gets a chance to step up, and they and not only do they nail it because of course they're all amazing actors, but the script let let them. Yeah. So like it's a great emotional journey for all these characters. To deal with the circumstances that we're all forced into. Yeah. Sometimes I wish there was just, you know, some more butt kicking. You know? <laughs> yes. I mean, I'm... It's a... It's... This movie is not like the first one when we came out of the first one. We're just like, Wakanda forever! Yeah! Like, we were, were so jazzed, right? We walked out of the theater. This one's just kind of like, oh, boy. That was... Yeah, that's... Whew. Not in a bad way, just like we're also, like, I cried. Not like, not bald, but just like, you know, happy tears, but also a little bit of sad oh, yeah. tears, because like, it's, this movie ha takes its time with those moments of like, hey, we lost somebody who was important to all of us, and like, yeah, this it's is sad. sad. It's sad. This is a very this sad mo movie. Like, it's the first, like, <laughs> it's like the first superhero movie, or like blockbuster movie that just kind of like embraces the fact, like, yo, shit's sad, yo. Like... Hey, doesn't that kind of take away from like you know the the driving action or blah blah? blah? Yeah, no. Uh, the 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 superhero uh, <laughs> the superhero's journey in this is overcoming grief, mm -hmm. like fresh grief. Yeah, not just like a, you know, from the past. No, like yeah, it just happened. Not only our main characters, but an entire nation of people, and an entire an entire fandom. <laughs> it was really sad when Chadwick Boseman died. Yeah. Ugh. And the fact, yeah. So just all you need to know about this movie is that the opening Marvel credits are silent, and it's all Chadwick Boseman. Mm -hmm. So they know they they hit all the notes. They they pay homage to him in a very nice, respectful way, um, and also just yeah sets up the movie. I absolutely go see it. Just know ahead of time. Just know it's not it's, gonna be. It's what going to be very emotional, and it's not gonna be what you think it's gonna be. Yeah. And uh, yeah, bring a pillow for your butt because it gets a little slow. <laughs> gets a little slow, but it's it. But like, it's the kind of thing where I'm like, man, some of these parts are slow, and I'm like, yeah, but I I don't know if I would change anything about it because like I see what like I see what it's what's coming. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's tricky. It's tricky. But I think they did a very good job with it, though. Yeah. Given the situation too. that they were in and what they needed to do. I think it's also this. I I think personally, this movie was didn't necessarily it was like. This movie was not helped by its trailers. No. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Because those trailers were like, Woo! Black Panther's gonna come back! And kick some butt! And Namor's there! Like, oh, alright! Woo, woo, woo! And then it was like... And then we got an hour of like... Whew. This is <laughs> sad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah. Enjoy the movie as much as you can, but know that this is going to be an emotional ride that, you know, is very well worth it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, this is a, definitely a unique Marvel film. I would yeah. do no other, well, other than, what, the 26, 7, 8 now that have exist, that exist. And it also does a really nice job of setting up status quo for what's going to happen mm -hmm. in, like, what's going on with Wakanda and stuff. Mm -hmm. There's some, like... I always forget that it's not all sunshine and rainbows with Wakanda because it's like, yeah, that's where we fought Thanos. Like, and you know, like mm -hmm. it's this is a great, 
this is awesome. And then yeah. it's like, oh no, they just like, nope, they closed the borders again right after T'Challa died. Our, ooh, that's not, that was a mistake. And yes, I did say steak. Ah, uh, hey. But yeah. I, spoiler time? I think it's spoiler time. All right, spoilers. Here we go. Yeah, having the first scene of the movie be what happened in real life. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. No. When they open up the movie and it's just like he's technically still alive and Shuri's trying to save him and it's just like... Her journey of... The... <laughs> It's frustrating for me because, like, reading all the, like, the the articles about the actress, like, you know, not getting COVID, not getting your vaccine, and like being kind of a pain on the ass on set, and like them not totally sure what's gonna happen. It it did kind of shade my my love of her character, if I'm being totally honest. Oh, absolutely. Um, because it was really important for her to like, because with Shuri taking the mantle, like, she's like extremely important now. And yes. she's, it's a big deal. It's a big deal because she's taking Chadwick's place yes. in the franchise. Uh -huh. And not and like it it's not something. And it means something. So like she needs Yeah. However, the arc of her character oh, yeah. was very impressive. Oh, it was fan it was I think, amazing. Like her getting to a point her trying to save her brother doesn't work. Getting to a point where she even says out loud, like, I was given the, I was given all of this knowledge and all of this ability to be able to save my brother and then I couldn't even do it. Then, like, what am I even doing here? Like, what, it, like, her being, her going from grief into, like, taking that grief into being lost as to who she was as a person. Mm -hmm. And then, I'm sorry, when she took the herb and saw Killmonger there. That was, that was incredible. <laughs> that was a it very was a, good choice. And the fact that she she donned Killmonger's mantle, and not and not her and not her brothers is fascinating to me. Yeah, her suit is definitely more like Killmonger's. Yeah. Because, and Killmonger even said this: like you're more like me than you are your brother. He's right. Mm -hmm. Like she's the type of person that wants to like bring change. And like a what like a different Wakanda. Same with Killmonger. Killmonger's like methods were a little totally screwed up. Totally screwed up. But yeah, yeah, because she was she was fueled by rage and anger and vengeance. Yeah, and rightfully so. But also, her at the tail at the very end of the movie, her realize like her burning the guard like in tradition in the tradition. Mm -hmm. It like it sums it all up, and it's just like. We're going to do things a little bit differently here, but we're still going to... Like, the old ways are, like, still... Mm -hmm. She's not throwing the baby out with the bathwater. No. Like, her arc as a whole was just, like, really, really impressive. It's just a shame, like, a lot of times I can, I've been like, man, like, why wouldn't she just get vaccinated? <laughs> <laughs> True. I, I hate that that colored it for me, so. but it really did. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, like, the, the first shot of the movie being her trying to save T'Challa, and then the last shot of the movie of, is her crying about it. Like, finally letting, finally letting, letting the motions come and she, you know, <clears throat> can start to, you know, grapple with them is, was really, really powerful. And, but not just her. Everybody else, Okoye, dealing with grief and loss and failure was, that scene in the throne room was yeah i was not I, expecting yeah, that <laughs> yes you don't expect to see a koya yeah. cry like oh my god you have an entire group you have an entire group of wakandans who have all sacrificed everything for this little country of theirs and it's yeah the state like it's the stakes are really high emotionally i really thought Okoye was gonna get the mantle i really thought so I thought when they when her like fall from grace, I was like, ah, this is perfect. They're just gonna like, mm -hmm. that's gonna be the thing. Like, Shuri's gonna realize that like she she like, you know, she can be queen in her own way, and then Akoya like, but you know, they kind of we need to protect her. Yeah. But Umbaku taking the throne is actually pretty interesting. Oh, it's very interesting. <sighs> the other cool, I mean, they did this movie did a lot of really cool things. It set up Namor very well. They did a fantastic job with Namor. He's such an asshole, and I hate him. 
And I can't wait for him to get his cup off no, at some point. No, but like, but I but know also, that's the character. I know if, that's the character. If anything, this him. this set up an anti-hero better than Black Adam ever did. You know what I mean? Like Namor, it's like we got an like an, we got ourselves an anti-hero here. Like you got to people like it's kind of the same vibe. It's like this is a person that's going to sacrifice everything for his people and make sure that they're safe. And like, yeah, someone searching for vibranium in the ocean is like that's this isn't good. At all, is this not good? I guess. But he killed Lake Bell, and he can go F off into the sun. Someone throw him in the sun. I hate him. No, I hate him. I hate Na- I'm Team Never Namor. I hate him. Oh, really? I hate him. I think he's I hate fascinating. Him. No, I hate him. I hate him so much. Like, I, under- I understand I, really, I get it. I don't know. I, I ju- he's the f- one of the first Marvel him. characters, I man. That's why I, got, like, I have, like, a weird respect for it. Nah. He sucks. Namor sucks. <laughs> I hate him. Same with Druig. He and Druig suck. Oh no, man! Their Na- team suck. I like Namor a lot. I think he's badass. I also really like. It was part one of my favorite. Like that, from an action perspective, like him just wrecking shop was really fun to watch. Sure. Like yeah, and, and his uh, countrymen or whatever. Like they all kicked a lot of ass. Their design was really cool. I mean, it was a little bit like I've been seeing a lot of trailers for uh, Avatar, so it's a little hard to be like. It's oh, kind of hard are... to separate the two. It's the ah! whales. It's the whales because mm-hmm. they ha- that's like the most. Mm-hmm. Like... But they did a very good job with them because I think I'm supposed to. I think hate this guy right now, and I truly, to the core of me, hate him. And I wish he was dead. I know he can't be because he's very important. No. But I'd like for him to be dead because screw that guy. But I think it's. I think adding. Adding Atlantis into the mix it makes things like pretty interesting. Oh, it gets it make, makes things way worse and more complicated. Yeah, but also and also th- them establishing that like Wakanda is kind of I it's think. in a cold war. I would I would say mm-hmm. is that sets the stage for a pretty interesting like for some pretty interesting global conflict. Oh, going sure. forward in the MCU. I well, know we're pretty much looking at the stars right now when it comes to Kang and stuff like that. But yeah, there's a lot of interesting things happening on the ground. And that's summed up by Martin Freeman being in the movie. I forgot that he was in the first one. I was like, "Oh yeah, he's here." Oh, great. And then it turns out he was buried to Val, who's in charge of the CIA. Oh no. <laughs> but him being like uh, that scene when they when he goes home and she's there because he she knows she, she, she tapped the beads because she's very smart and very good at her job. Yes. And he's like, have you ever stopped to wonder what would happen if they just actually were like doing maybe, stuff? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, can you? Yeah, maybe they should have it because they're not doing anything with it. Exactly. That. Could you imagine what would happen if we were the only ones with vibranium? And she's like, oh yeah, I, I dream about that. I wish. It's like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> That's what you. Ah, no! Yeah. It was a very good yeah. scene. I think everyone, like, peed a little when she said they were like, ah. <laughs> Ooh. You said that ah. so casually that I was like, ah, she f- means that. Wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the other thing this movie does very well is introducing Riri Will- Williams. I guess I have a hard time saying that name. Riri Williams. Riri. Because oh, yeah. she's the best kind of new Marvel character we've been getting a lot of, right? Someone in universe. Mm-hmm. Who uh-huh. knows a lot about stuff that's been going on, so she can kind of like re- reference stuff as we would have referenced stuff because yes. she's experienced them and it's excited to be there. Yes. Which is like that's, and then you can fill in all her personal details, like you know, she's a tech genius, and you know, and they're and, setting up Ironheart, whatever that right. is. I think it was uh, that was great. It was they made they made, you know, it's always a good idea to, if you're going to introduce a new character that's going to you know go on to do other stuff, like put him as a MacGuffin in your in another movie. Mm-hmm. That's great. Like, cause they're like, oh, I'm here to help. I'm going to be in just enough shots that everyone remembers that I'm here mm-hmm. and remembers what I do. And that's about it. Ah, oh, let's stay friends. <laughs> All right, high five. Yep, I got to make my own show. I'm going to go make my own show. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, I'll work on it in my show that's coming out next year, probably. Wee, Wee. bye, bye. But she was great. I really yeah. liked her. I yeah. Didn't, and the best thing, like, the, the, her books never really, there weren't, there's not a ton with her books and stuff like that. She's only been around for about a decade or so. So she's basically a blank slate that they can do pretty yeah, much whatever, whatever they want really to. Want. And just be like, well, this yeah. is all great. Hooray. So this movie set up a lot of really great things. I really, really, you know, it's, it's a great emotional journey. I uh, really appreciated everybody. And like Nikita coming back and being like, oh, by the way, I, I ran away. And I was, I was alive for this. I didn't get snapped for a very good reason because I had this kid. And we now have another T'Challa. Yay. That was, ooh, boy, that was nice at the end there. That was a yeah. nice little, like... Way to end, and especially because the last scene in the movie is her crying, and then the, the scene comes back, it's the same shot. 
Oh yeah. It's like it's like oh that was very because usually it's you know it's we're somewhere else but sure. like, it was that I was like oh that was very good, that was very good. I the thing I hate about that not hate I'm sorry that was the wrong word the thing that really that sits wrongly with me in this movie mm -hmm. because as we said earlier like this is an emotional journey is very you know is very good you know it really does go through all the cycles of grief and stuff like that and the fact that we. Then lose Aunt Angela Bessa, and it's like, oh man, I don't. Oh she, oh, oh she died. I, I really didn't think they were gonna kill. Her. I didn't think they were gonna do it either. And I was like, do we need to? No, please don't kill all the parents in the DC. In oh, the, I know where you. Where you're, I know where your point's going. So, Wakanda gets their ass handed to them at the end of Act Two, like they get their ass handed to them. Yeah. And at this point, uh, Shuri is like, we need to figure this out peacefully. We there. There has to there has to be a peaceful solution to this. Yeah. And she tries, and Amber's like, no, no. You either join me in burning the earth, or I'm going to kill everybody in Wakanda. And then he goes and beats the crap out of Wakanda with barely even trying, and then kills uh, Sherry's mom. At that point, the, Wakanda's at a low point, and I'm thinking, like, great. You know what we really need right now? A nice Wakanda forever moment of Wakanda rising and beating the crap out of Namor and Atlantis. Just outthinking yeah. them and being smarter and just b giving them the beatdown they clearly deserve in this moment. Yeah. I know they can't kill Namor. He's very important. He'll be, but, like, just beat <laughs> these guys down, please. They're all assholes. And it, it didn't happen. They didn't beat him. Like, yeah, they, the fight between the fight between Shuri and and Namor was kind of. Yes, it was I a little she. Mid. I I felt like in I mean outsmarting him and like drying him out and then beating him down and then she wounded one of his wings. Is like, keep taking out those wings on his ankles. No, absolutely. And I you know I because I, what I really wanted was that more so I guess if I had to pick one it'd be Shuri v Namor instead of the Wakandans and the Atlanteans, kind of like. Being because like the Wakandans were about to die, and I didn't like. I was like, you know what? This should have been more savage on both sides. Well, do you remember how? Uh, do you remember how when uh, uh, T'Challa wanted to take the mantle of Black Panther, he had to basically like submit himself to a trial by combat mm -hmm. for any, anyone who challenged them. Mm -hmm. I think it would have been an excellent way uh, for Shuri to prove not that she needed to, but like from a thematic standpoint. Mm -hmm. Of like, this is how you can, this is how like you can prove you are worthy of the mantle by, you know, accepting any challenges and just challenge Namor to a one-on-one. -on -one. You Ooh. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, I think that would have been, but also I think, but I think Shuri was right. And if he's near water, I'm going to lose. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I just wanted Shuri to go through more of an emotional like really vent all that anger and rage and vengeance that she was feeling because that's why she saw Killmonger. Yeah. And in that fight, just like, you know. There should have been some sort of. Some she sort should of, have lost it on him. I think the catharsis could have could have popped a little better. I agree. That's. Because the thing is like her yes, seeing. The catharsis. Her seeing their similarities. Yes. And her coming to that realization was awesome and perfect. And yes. It, yes, it was. But like, there should have. It, it she really could have. She should have been like, re not not spear next to his, just like there, ready to just. I'm just, going. I'm like, I'm gonna stick, sink, sink my fangs into your heart. Kimbo. Yes, yeah. I'm. And after, but like, just after bloodying the crap out of him, and then pulling herself back from that, mo from all that rage, yeah. from truly becoming Killmonger, and then seeing seeing her mom. Yeah, I ju yeah. The catharsis needed to be a little bit higher, and just a little bit like because structurally it's all there. I mean, like, yes, that's the thing. Structurally, it's, it's the all the tone there. just doesn't I, it just, I match didn't, it. I didn't get the emotional release of Wakanda stepping back up and blooding Atlantis's nose. It's like, how dare you come and kill our queen, and kill our people, innocent people who have done nothing to you, yeah. because we don't want to burn the world with you. Yeah, that's the, that was the only thing missing from this movie is that catharsis moment. Of just yes, punch this guy in the nose and rip those goddamn wings off his stupid ankles. Yep. Hate this guy. Ah. <sighs> but other than that, I think that's the I think that's the thing that's sitting with me the most of us. I still have that emotional charge in me right now. It's only been a couple hours, but like I still like I yeah, still need really that release. Yeah, you really hate Namor, man. I really do. I really do. Man, gig him. 
I, I would love to. I would love to gig him. God, was awesome. I would break his ankles with Thor's no, hammer. No, I kind of like just no. That's I don't know. I just throw like, him in kinda, the sun. He was a little pragmatic, but also he's you know he lives in a city where everyone thinks he's a god. So like, you know, I get it. I thought it was really compelling. Oh sure. Is I just like I I like I liked living in this world for two and a half hours. I would have liked to have seen a little more butt kick in, but I think that's also you know. But that's not what we're doing. I know. You know I, what I mean? I, mean, like, I know. Like, it's like I, I'm almost right. mad at myself for thinking that sometimes. Sure. I'm like, hey, bud. Hey, bud. This is how. Like, this is this is how you. They had to make this movie. Oh, absolutely. Like the amount of hurdles they have to they have to hop. This is how you do it. Mm-hmm. Like slow and steady wins the race with this thing. So like, yeah. Yeah. I just wanted the catharsis moment a little bit. You know, kind of like what we just had with Andor. With Andy Serkis is yell of yell of rage. Like it's it's the yell. It's a visceral. It's yes. It's a visceral. After feeling. what they did to Wakanda, I was extremely upset and angry, especially just seeing her body you there lying her in the water. You need her to body body him, and in a way that it's like it, it becomes apparent through all of the you know panther scratches. That's like oh, this isn't about him at all. Oh, this isn't yeah, about it, him yes, at it, all. Yes, indeed. Yes, it needed to. Yeah, I just wanted a little bit more of that. Yeah, just. Yeah, that's all I needed. It was just a little, just a little bit, because that would have been that would have made narrative sense, and it would have been overkill. Yeah. It was like not just butt kicking for butt sake. Like no, there's a re- there's a very good reason why she's going overboard right now. She's working through th- some things. Also, he kind of deserves it a little bit. No, a lot. He deserves it a lot, but she realizes yeah. she needs to step up and be the, be the ruler that what kind of needs. Uh, and Mbaku was right. I cannot kill this guy. I no. can't doom generations to war yeah. over this. But you've got my point. Don't do this again. I will protect you. And then we can have him be yeah. a dick at the end. Yeah. Because he so deserves a beating. I don't think he was a dick at the end. I think him painting the thing was like... Oh, no. He when, he, like, when he's talking to the girl. Work. Oh, that I thought that was... I read that scene as him scheming. It's like, you just wait. We're kind of isolated. And they're going to turn to us. And that's exactly what we need them to do. Yeah, I don't, in, think, like, in, in gonna, a... I don't think he's going to betray Wakanda. I think he's like excited for like, like Wakanda will start the war. Don't worry. Like, I mean, Wakanda won't start it, but like, you know, just them existing is going to draw the attention. And that, and now Wakanda knows that they have a secret in their back pocket that nobody else knows about. That's true. It's true. And he's like, we'll get ours. I just want him. But also, Namor, Namor just wants wants the people to be wants his people safe and secret, and that's and that's exactly what they're getting with that with that agreement with with Shuri. Sure, but the desire to burn the world is only going to bring chaos and destruction. I don't like him at all, and he sucks. I think he's a great antihero. I think I think he's for, not, not a hero at all. He's just a dick. He's a villain. Even so, I think it's pretty awesome. Oh no! They're doing a very. I mean, this vis- they, this this emotional this visual reaction is doing yes. Is, they're doing exactly what they need Man, to do. Little, little Namor standing in front of that that house burning. I was like, okay. I was like, I, oh, by the way, right. is that comic accurate of how he got his name? I don't I don't know, but like, it's There's very not... good. It's very good. So yeah, it's really yeah, it's awesome. So absolutely, go see this movie. Uh, you're probably gonna uh, you're gonna enjoy it on a, probably a much different level than you think you're going yeah. to. Yeah. And probably this is gonna probably sit with you for a while, and I probably enjoy it more as time goes on. Hell yeah! As we get a little distance from it, uh-huh. it's very good. Um, but that being said, I can't wait for Quantum Mania because that I'm ready for a uh, complete fun <laughs> Marvel movie. <laughs> well, but not, I, th- I don't know how. I actually don't think how fun that movie is gonna be. I think that movie's gonna pop off. Oh I sure, but you know, gonna, it's, I think that movie's gonna get pretty dark. It's the Langs. It's yeah, they're gonna be. It's Paul Rudd. It's, you know, there's going to be some it, lightness. It is. It is like the some actual, light in the darkness. It is the actual coming out moment of our of our Kang the Conqueror. It is a debutante ball of multidimensional evil. <laughs> <laughs> well, the next Marvel movie is in five, four months. It comes out in March, right? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Comes out in, comes out in March. <laughs> That's Four and a half months. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Jay. Uh, no, we both said you should go see this. So uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, go see it. Let us know what you guys think. Hey, let us know what you think in the comments below. Um, enjoy the movie. We sh- we sure as hell did. We really did. 
uh, other video is popping up right here. Yeah. Please watch this. We would appreciate it as much as we uh, appreciate uh, you uh, watching this one. Spirit of the gun. Yeah, man. Click, click those, click all the buttons and links. Like, like it's gonna, like, like it isn't about us. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.